Good morning. Are you digging in the right direction? That's really today's important question. This is coffee with Len. This is coffee. <laughs> you know, somebody once asked me if I actually have coffee in my cup. Yes, I do. Good morning. Is that Betty? I saw somebody pop it on. Mander, good morning. Good morning, better Betty. <laughs> um, anyhow, Sheryl, good morning. Am, am I pronouncing your name right? I'm not sure, but uh, welcome aboard. Let's see who else joins us. Hello, Betty. It's good to see you. Um, anyway, are you digging in the right direction? So yesterday we were talking about people who give up. But the only mistake you can make in life, the only mistake you can make is to quit. Everything else is a learning experience. Everything else you can take away, you can gather some information, you can learn from it. So you run an ad, it didn't work. You, you, buy, you, you try to sell a course, it doesn't sell. You do something, it doesn't get the results you want. But you got information, you learned something, so now you can tweak and you can make it better. So the next time, maybe it works a little better. You maybe get a different result. So we've all heard the story of Three Feet from Gold. There's one of our one of the, our listeners yesterday wrote in that she'd watched somebody give up just a few hours or minutes before they were able to, they would have achieved success, but they quit. But we've all heard the story of Three Feet from Gold. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. All right, Betty. I, I believe that. I believe it. So, oh, and by the way, we're inside because it's wet out. So we, I thought we'd stay in today. But here's the question. See, the, the story of Three Feet from Gold has two very powerful lessons in it. The first powerful lesson, and I think I'm going to assume we all know the story Three Feet from Gold, but just in case, the summary of it is it's the miner who dug and dug and toiled at, for years Trying, trying to get gold out of a mine, a, a claim that he had staked, in the, perhaps in the wild, wild west, huh? in the mother load somewhere. And finally gave up and walked away and sold his equipment for pennies on the dollar. New owners came in and they dug three feet and they found one of the richest gold strikes in history. So what happened? He gave up too soon. But there was another thing that happened. There's a far more important message in that story. Do you know what it is? He was digging the wrong direction. The new owners brought in some technology and they evaluated the situation. In other words, they got a coach, they got a mentor, they got help. You see, if the things you're doing aren't working as well for you as you would like them to, maybe it's time for a coach. Now, a lot of people get into home-based business and they can't afford a coach, a, a, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching. A, a lot of people get into home-based business because they are financially stressed. They need money. But there are far less expensive things to do than one-on-one -on -one coaching. For example, I run a coaching group that meets twice a week and is very, very inexpensive. So if you're not getting the results that you want, maybe, just maybe, you want to consider taking a look at my coaching program. Check it out. You can come for free initially. First session is free. If you'd like to learn more about the program, drop me a message, let me know, shoot me a message. Now, here's the important thing. Everybody has a coach. Everybody. Even the top athletes, top performers in the world have coaches. And frequently, they have several coaches. They have a life coach and a business coach and a, um, and a coach for their particular game or skill that they play. So if they're a hockey player, they have a hockey coach. If they're a golf player, they have a golf coach. And they may have a business coach. And they may have a like I said, a lifestyle coach, but they have coaches. A coach can look at what you're doing frequently and can see a bigger picture than you're able to see. They can point you in a slightly different direction 
And sometimes it only takes a little tweak to point you. You're going, you're digging this direction, but you really need to be digging that direction. And it's a tiny little tweak. And with a with that little tweak, you end up striking the richest gold vein in history rather than digging for years and years and years and years and years with no result. Consider it. So there are two lessons. One, don't give up. Two, if you're not getting the result you want, maybe it's time for a coach. If you'd like to learn more, not only do I have my group coaching program, I also have private one-on-one -on -one coaching and other programs that are available. Pick the one that fits you. Let me know if you're interested. And with that, we're going to call it a day. Like I said, it's a little wet out there. It's not really raining, raining, but it's drizzly and wet. My chair is wet. So remember to be happy. The happier you are, the more happy the universe can bring you. And remember, be compassion. And we'll talk again tomorrow. You have a wonderful day. And this is a new week, a new beginning. What are you going to do with it? We'll talk tomorrow. Bye for now. And thank you, Betty. Thank you. Changing things this week. Okay. You're great. You help me keep, keep me going each day. All right, Betty. I love it. If I'm helping somebody, I'm doing my job. That's what I'm here for, to help, to help people. All righty. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now.